Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with an NBA main slate video. Hopefully, you guys had a great weekend. Um, today was fantastic. I tried out NASCAR for the first time today, got a top 10 in a GBP. So, yeah, man, maybe I'll start doing NASCAR videos. I've been uh, looking into doing some research on those, so um yeah i could add that too so make sure you hit that subscribe button guys hit that bell icon so you know we'll be the first to know my videos drop and when i go live um and yeah guys hopefully you guys had a great weekend a profitable weekend and df you know in dfs and sports wagering what have you prize picks everything guys so and if you're returning and you forgot to hit that like button you forgot to hit that subscribe button what you forgot to hit that bell icon what don't forget guys Without further ado, let's start the freaking show. All right, guys, so we got to pay the bills around here. You know what that means, guys. If you want to come join us, the DFS Club, it's very simple. This is where you get all my lineups. You get the projections, the ownership, the top stacking when we play every single sport. Every single sport. Like I said, I played NASCAR for the first time today. Did pretty freaking good, man. Um, DFSclub.com. Go to DFSclub.com. You got two providers in one DFS space. My brother from another mother. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold back a burp. Myself, Skywalker DFS. You get every single sport, guys. In the business. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, UFC. N Nice UFC uh, prediction video again, guys. We got robbed in that one fight. Priscilla Ketcha beating did not win that fight, so I will not accept that as an L. But other than that, another two weeks in a row, guys. Great predictions video. Um, college sports, EuroLeague basketball, guys. XFL. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then pick your plans, guys. Like I said, you get the members-only podcast exclusively to the DFS Club. We go live one hour before lock where we – Space and I and LT will jump on sometimes, man. We break down the slate. Um, it's amazing. I love doing the podcast. Space enjoys them. We got the whole family in here, almost 500 members. Um, you get my lineups, ownership projections. I consider myself an expert at NHL, NBA, um, UFC – trying to get there for nascar but i will get there i will be an expert in nascar i'm a novice right now but i'll get there guys we have our bronze plan what silver plan what gold plan what three day passes if you guys just want to check us out for three days guys we're the cheapest in the industry and it's not even close come check us out guys dfsclub.com and one more thing i'm so very excited very excited to announce uh, a new partnership, a new sponsor of the show, guys. Let me pull it up. Hold on to your hats. The site is up now, but the new mer merchandise will be added this week. Fearthemaverick.net, guys. Fearthemaverick.net, a new sponsor of the show. This is where you can shop for all your uh, UFC, your Miranda Maverick merchandise. She's got training gloves. Freaking clothing. There's a lot more to add on here. Hats, uh, workout stuff. So those of you that are in like MMA, UFC, you thought about doing it, buying some gloves, buying uh, some autograph pictures. She does sell fight fight memorabilia, autograph photos, autograph gloves, guys. Fearthemaverick.net. Use promo code SKYWALKER10 to get 10% off, guys. 10% off. But I would advise you wait until all of the other um, products are on the website. So it's just launched. So I'm just throwing it out there. Brand new sponsor of the show, fearthemaverick.net, guys. So I keep an eye out for it this week, and I'll definitely let you guys know when all the merch on there drops. Super excited about that partnership. Um, but remember, yeah, promo code SKYWALKER10. Get 10% off. And don't you dare be sour. All right, so let me put up my banner too. I forgot to do that. I've been, I took last night off. Um, been excited to get back and talk on here with you guys. So let's get into it. Let's bring up Draft Dashboard, guys. 
you want to try out Draft Dashboard, it's $1 for 30 days. And I used it today, that Jordan Clarkson call in that early game. I didn't show you guys the early game, but I came in uh, eighth. Julio came in second. Julio won $100,000, by the way, if you missed that video. Uh, he played two lineups in a 150 uh, max entry tournament and won $100,000. Took it down. So shout out to Julio again. We call him now 100K Julio. Um, but yeah, draft dashboard. I use it for all my research, guys. I had that Jordan Clarkson call today. Um, it's amazing. It is. I don't use optimizers, but I use this for my research, guys. If you do use optimizers, you can optimize up to 150 lineups. Come check it out. Click on the link in the description below. You can try it out for $1. What? $1. What? 10 dimes. What? 20 nickels. What? 100 pennies. What? One dollar, guys. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard. All right, so let's get into it. So, injuries for tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this. Looks like all the uh, San Antonio guys just sat out today for rest, so I'm not worried about that. Kyle Lowry is going to be out for Miami. Um, let's see, New York for some stupid reason still has COVID restrictions. Someone ought to let them know that COVID hasn't been a thing for a while. So even here in California, they let up. You guys saw we had the NASCAR race here. Someone call New York and let them know it's over. I know you had a you had a, a, a laugh at our expense, but it's over. All right. Let Kyrie play. So Kyrie will be out for the home game. So let's get into it. Seven gamer. So perfect size slate. First up, we'll start at point guard. We got DeJounte Murray, San Antonio versus Memphis. This should be a banger, man. 10.6K. Again, well-rested. Last two against Memphis, 50 burgers, 51 and a 50. So, yeah, I do like DeJounte Murray tomorrow at 10.6. All honesty, he should be almost 11K, coming off a 70 burger. Uh, John Morant, opposite end of the court, 9.7K. Out of the two, I'd probably try and get the DeJounte Murray, but, yeah, there is a $900 price difference. Um, except for FanDuel. FanDuel, Jaws over 10K. FanDuel, DeJounte Murray is cheaper. So I, out of the two, give me DeJounte Murray. But yeah, John Morant, look at his history against San Antonio. 64 and a 51 in his last two. John Morant has been looking fabulous. 57 in his last game. Shea Gil Alexander at 9.6K. I love the play here. I love the matchup against some Sacramento Queens. Um, actually, let me switch the screen here so you guys can see the bottom players too. There we go. Um, yeah. All right. Now we're good. 9.6K, I think we'll just drive down some ownership. History against Sacramento's okay. Not that great. Um, but yeah, I mean, he should get all the production, guys. So Shea at 9.6 against Sacramento's a great matchup. Get him in there. So Tyrese Halliburton. We got Indy versus Orlando. So Malcolm Brogdon's been great. He's been great rostering him at this cheap price on FanDuel. But it is a back-to-back, -back, so we'll see if he plays or not. Um, if he doesn't, you got to roll out with some Tyrese Halliburton, man. He took he took up, uh, as far as minutes goes, he went down to 34 today, but still squeaked out of 46. So at 8.6K, I still like Tyrese, man. Um, $600 more on FanDuel. Without Brogdon, it's even better. But with Brogdon, man, I think he's still in play at that price point because he's no longer in the 9K range. And you probably get him at low ownership. Low ownership is the key, guys. Uh, I cashed two out of three of my uh, DraftKings tonight, guys, by the way. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, 8.5K. We got Sacramento OKC. <sighs> when I play De'Aaron Fox... He gets me a 30 burger. When I don't play him, he gets a 50 plus. That's that's the thing, right? So it's a Skywalker curse. It's a great matchup, though. So he's in play. 8.5K. Fred Van Vliet, the big question mark of the day. We'll be waiting for this news all day, I'm sure. Questionable. He said he was questionable last game, and then what? After lock. Was it after lock? I think it was after lock. All of a sudden, he's in. He comes in, smashes. He started off really hot. Got a 45. At 8K, his history against Brooklyn, 55-42 in his last two. Um, if he plays, I love him. If not, we'll get to some other options. But if Fred Van Vliet's in, I like that. 
Terry Rozier chocolates at 7.9K. $300 cheaper on FanDuel. Love the FanDuel price. I love this game, man. Charlotte and Milwaukee. This should be fire. 49, 45, sorry, 47, 45 in his last two against them. But he's been on a major streak, man, except for that 16. But, yeah, besides that, he's got 70-point upside. He did it five games ago. So Terry Rozier's not bad. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, like I said, the Fanduel price is ridiculous. He's 7.1K on DraftKings. He's what? In that 5K range on Fanduel. So if he plays, I know he's been capped at 30 minutes, but damn, man. That's what stopped me from the takedown on the morning slate was he didn't play the fourth quarter. That's the only thing that stopped my takedown this morning in the single entry. So it's that simple. Great analysis. I know, guy, but if uh, if he plays, he's in. If not, not so much. And I would only play him on FanDuel. So Miami at Chicago, or sorry, Chicago at Miami. Uh, Tyler Hero, sure, 6.3K, no Kyle Lowry, comes off the bench, still gets about 30 minutes. He should see an uptick in minutes, I would think, and he's been pretty solid. He does this when he comes back from an injury, and then he goes back to sucking again. So get him while he's hot. Tyler Hero at 6.3K. Uh, San Antonio, Memphis, I love me some Lonnie Walker, man. They ain't messing with this price tag. 4.5K, comes off the bench, 27, 29, 29 in his last three. 33, 20 before that. So I'd say a very safe play in the 4K range. Uh, Gabe Vincent at only 3.6K. I would think without Kyle Lowry, he'd probably get the start. He's been playing pretty good minutes in his last two. 23 and a 27. Just not a big points per minute guy. But I love the history against Chicago. 32 and a 34. So a 3.6 night before. We're already looking at some value here. Jalen Suggs at 5.4 got me right in the old prison pocket last game. I had 100% of them, and I know better than to do that. I never do 100% of one player because shit like this happens, right? One foul. What? Two fouls. What? 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 Three fouls. What? Benched. Benched. Got three DraftKings points, guys. Three fouls in like the first two minutes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm still tilting from that, but you know what? You cannot hold grudges in DFS, guys. I'm going right back here at 5.4K, but because before this debacle, 32, 35, 45, and a 26. Last time he was Indy, he got a 30. So for 5.4, I think that's pretty good value. So Jalen Suggs, get him in there. OKC Sacramento. Trey Mann. How is nobody talking about this guy? Can someone please explain to me why this man is getting no respect right now? 31, 30, 34 minutes in his last three, 38, 35, and a 40 burger in his last three. He's only 5.4K. $1,800 more on FanDuel. I love the DraftKings price. Hey, man, OKC, 5.4, free square. Get him in there, guys. Brandon Goodwin for Cleveland, 5.2K. Should start. I mean, he played huge minutes last game. 37 minutes just sucked, right? I don't know how you can suck that bad in 37 minutes playing the point, but hey, I don't know. Even if you can't shoot the ball, just hand it off and give it to someone who can. And you get the assists, get the rebounds. But yeah, if he's going to get 37 minutes again against Minnesota, I like it. I like the 5.2 price tag. Pat Bev coming off a floor game, only played 20 minutes. I don't know if this game was a blowout or not. I don't remember. But two games ago, he did have a 37 against them. So yeah, I like Patrick Beverly at 5K. All right, so let's go to shooting guard. All right, so Zach Levine. Chicago and Miami. So on the Chicago side, I'm not really looking to the roster of these guys. I kind of fade teams going up against Miami. But Zach Levine's an exception. 8-3 on DraftKings. 8K on FanDuel. Last time against Miami, he got a 51. So that's promising. Um, a lot of these Chicago guys will probably be low on tomorrow. So I might try and get to one of them. And if I do, it'll be Zach Levine at 8.3 K. Let's see here. Seth Curry. So no Kyrie, the big three are out 5.9 K. Sure. I mean, he hasn't been smashing at this price point, but he's been doing okay. He's a very safe play. We should play point or shooting guard. We'll see what happens. But Patty Mills is absolute trash. I can't get to Patty Mills, but I can get to Seth Curry at 5.9K. 
Devin Vassell, 5'7", absolutely, 38, 33, 33. Consistency is key with this man. Um, and it's a good matchup against Memphis. I do like that. Kelly Oubre got me in the prison pocket tonight big time, man. I don't know if he got into foul trouble or what, but he's too cheap, in my opinion. Before tonight, he was playing 35 to 38 minutes. Then he gets chopped down to 24 minutes, 22 DraftKings points. And I believe the game went into overtime, too. I don't know if he got into foul trouble or what. I'll have to look more into it. But I don't mind going back to Kelly Oubre at 5'5". $200 more on FanDuel and a great matchup against Milwaukee. I love targeting this game tomorrow. Um, Let's see. Do we go over Lonnie Walker already? If not, yeah, we did. We did. If not, Lonnie Walker, 4-5. Yeah, get him in there, guys. Chetty the Cheese Osman. This is a GPP dart throw. They used him last game, finally, right? Finally, with no Raj Rondo. If Raj Rondo's going to be out again, and it's just Goodwin, they got to use him, right? 28 minutes last game, 33 DraftKings points. 4.4K, his price did come up. He would definitely be in play if, you know, we get word that he's going to come off the bench again and get, like, you know, close to 30 minutes. That'd be sick. Buddy Hill at 7K. Yep. 38, 42, 39 is last three. This is the Buddy Hill we know and love from like two years ago. 40, 50, 34 in his last three. Easy matchup against Orlando, guys. Uh, Gary Trent, only if Fred Van Vliet is out at 6.2K. If not, I will take a hard pass. Even with OG and an OB out. Look at this guy, 16 and 21 in his last two. Terrible, absolutely terrible. The matchup is great against Brooklyn, but I'll only roster him if Fred Van Vliet is out. Then I think he's a smash play. We'll put him at point guard. We'll get all the assists, all the rebounds, and should get about a 50 burger. So we'll, we got to wait on that Fred Van Vliet news. Um, let's see here. Now I think that's it there. As you guys know, on the Skywalker DFS show, we just go over players that I really like. I could touch on every single player, and it can be a boring-ass video for about an hour and a half, but I don't do that. I don't believe in that. Jimmy Buckets at 8.9K. If you pop Corn Machine, how Jimmy does without Kyle Lowry on the court, it's pretty fucking good. So I do like Jimmy Butler at 8.9K, and he won't he won't take all your salary either. Uh, Miles Bridges. I said it... Today on the Members Only Podcast, and I'll say it again, he is too cheap, guys. 7.5K and a good matchup against Milwaukee. He's only $300 more on FanDuel. He broke the slate tonight. And it's another good matchup for him, man. 7.5, I think it's too cheap. Call me crazy, but 7.5 is way too cheap for Miles Bridges. Get him in there, guys. I love him. Uh, GPP play for the Sacramento OKC game would be Harrison Barnes at 6.2. Kind of a safe play. But I do like what I saw last time out of him. Against OKC, he got a 50-burger. So at 6-2, it'd be kind of hard for him to really hurt you. He'd have to get like 20, which he could do. It's Harrison Barnes. But at least you know he'll be out there in a close game and, and he'll play big minutes. So, I mean, this Sacramento OKC game could be, you know, lightweight one to target two. Two bad teams going at it. Play no defense. Um, Scotty Barnes at 5.7K. Kind of cheap, right? Whenever Scotty Barnes is under 6K, sure. Um, had a floor game, but look at his history against Brooklyn. 48 and a 32. Scotty Barnes would be in play for me at 5'7 with no OG. Um, we already touched on them. And then how about the Brissette? Sound like something you smoke on a grill for about nine hours. Falls right off the bone. 5.9K. He's been getting big minutes, guys. 37, 33 in his last two. 38, 39, 34 in his last three. Only 5.9K, too. So, love Brissett against Orlando. And we got Bruce Brown. I think he's worth a shot here at 5-1 with no Kyrie. He's been pretty consistent. He came out that one game kind of rusty. Got 19, <laughs> then a 22, but 37 and a 28. Um, against Toronto, 24, 44, 25 in his last three. I think with no Kyrie on the court, I think Bruce Brown's worth a GPP dart throw. And 5-1 ain't going to kill you. And that's it there. So let's go to power forward and feel the power. Don't you dare be sour. All right, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, my favorite payup of the slate. 12K, 
Now, I was very high today in the Members Only podcast. Do not play Jokic at that price point. And I'll be damned if I was right. He was almost 13K and squeaked out like a 40-something, I think it was. So, But Giannis at 12K, the matchup is golden against Charlotte. Golden. 57, 70, 70, 65. At 12K, got to get you a 70 to, to hit value here. I think he can do it. I think in this matchup especially, it's a dream matchup for him. So give me Giannis all day, my favorite player on the slate. At 12K, he's $500 cheaper on FanDuel. Pascal Siakam Malakam is only 8-4. They dropped his price big time. $700 more on FanDuel. 35, 16, 43. Hasn't been playing after getting all these 50s in a row. Kind of came down to earth. He made it a 64, but it's against Brooklyn, guys. And again, with no OG and could be no uh, fat, fat Fred Van Vliet. So if Fred Van Vliet's out, I love Pascal Siakam Malakam at 8.4K. Wendell Carter Jr. has been really good at 7-4. I mean, at this price point, would I rather play uh, Bridges? Yeah, absolutely. But if you want to get different, you can go there. Triple J at 6-7 is fine. Just be aware he has a scary low floor. But his last two against San Antonio, 45 and a 41. So Triple J for some low ownership, sure. Worth a shot. Um... Thad Young, for some value at 3-4, comes off the bench. If uh, Fred Van Vliet misses two, I think he might get a couple extra minutes, if that makes sense. But he's consistently getting 20 minutes a game. 21-13, 21-12, so it's kind of a pattern player, right? Um, but yeah, 3-4, night before, we don't know what value is going to drop. Thad Young is a decent play at 3-4. If he gets you a 20-burger, you're happy. Um, PJ Washington's fine, especially after a floor game. I love playing these guys after a floor game. 5.4K. And I love the matchup against Milwaukee. They might force him to shoot some three pointers. So, give me PJ Washington. Come, you know, 5.4K. Sure. Plays 30, sometimes 48 minutes. He played 48 minutes three games ago. That's amazing. He's got tremendous upside. That's what I like about him. James Johnson at 4 1. If he starts. When he starts, he gets over 30 minutes. He started last game, got 34 minutes. It's just 26, 22. But the price tag's only 4-1. Anything over a 25 here, you're looking really good. So don't sleep on James Johnson tomorrow if he starts. And then let's go to center. All right, so Devonta Sabonis at 9.5K. In all honesty, he could be priced at 12K. Easily. Easily. I think you're getting them way too cheap here. Sacramento's playing this man. As long as the game stays close, they'll play him close to 40 minutes. Last two against OKC, you guys. 70, 74. Love me Sabonis at 9 5. I'm going to try and get him and Giannis in tomorrow. We'll see what value opens up tomorrow. But yeah, one of my second favorite players. I hate that he's center eligible now only instead of power forward like he was before. But. I think Fandle, he's power forward eligible also. But I do love Sabonis. I hate the fact that he's only center eligible, but 9.5K, absolutely, that's too cheap. You got Bam born on a bayou, been playing out of his mind. 8.8K, 60, 53, 45 in his last three. Again, no Kyle Lowry, so that's just a bump to him also. 34, 34, 43 in his last three. Love me some Bam tomorrow, man. The payups are looking good in like that 8, 9K range. Um, Yako Portal's fine. He's coming off of some rest too. 7.3K going up against Memphis. The last time he played him, he got a 46. So that's not too shabby. You guys remember Schroeder picked Jared Allen in his last video. Jared Allen got us 43. I'm telling you, my cat Schroeder is better at picking picks than Cam ATL is. If that guy even exists anymore. He don't even make videos anymore. He, he sucks so bad, he gave up. You don't even make content anymore. It's a damn shame. I told you all years ago that was coming. But, yeah, Jared Allen, 7-3. He's back in play. Um, Last time, look at his history against Minnesota. That's what really stuck out to me. Schroeder was on to something here. 44 and a 58 in his last two against Minnesota. He loves playing against Carl Anthony Towns. What can I say? Get him in there, guys. Um, Who else? We already went over Thad. Andre Drummond at 6'1". 
What's promising to me is his minutes went up to 29 last game. If we get 30-point Andre Drummond, sign me the hell up. 46 DraftKings points in 29 minutes. That's what happens when you give Drummond 30 minutes, guys. Coaches, Jesus, get him in there. If he's going to play 30 minutes, that's a smash spot. Takes up another center play on FanDuel. You can put Sabonis at power forward. DraftKings, put him in a utility spot. Montrez, Harrell. We talked about this in today's Members Only podcast, too. We nailed it. The price tag is just too much. He only played 23 minutes. That's the thing. He's pretty much mostly capped at low 20s minutes. And in that 20 minutes of time, he has to come through. That's not a lot of time to come through. And what did he do today? He got 15. 15 DraftKings points. So I still don't like the price tag. I don't like it. So, but... GPP play, sure. $1,100 more on FanDuel, guys. FanDuel's lost their damn mind with Montrez. If he was starting and playing over 30 minutes a game, absolutely. He played 42 minutes three games ago and got a 38. But, yeah, coming off the bench, that's way too much. It's like the rent. It's too damn high, right? And that's going to do it for the picks, guys. So, again, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. God bless you guys, man. You guys have been blowing up this channel. Um, it's feeling like the old days again with the views, with the subscriptions. I'm trying to get the 6,000 subscribers. Please tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your uncles, your nephews, your nieces, your co-workers. Tell them, come check out the Skywalker DFS show, guys. You guys are killing it. Thank you, guys. I love you so much for that. If you want to come join the family. You want stop losing. Start winning. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stop losing. Come join us, guys. DFSclub.com. The best in the business. That's all I'll say. Because we keep proving it. We got 100K Julio in here. Just won $100,000. Uh, we had some other big winners over this weekend. Space and I and LT broke down that slate today like some surgeons, man. And we had some laughs, too. It's not all, you know, you got to have fun while you're in here. While you're playing DFS, you got to have fun. And that's what we're all about. There's no drama in here. There's no egos in here. We all have one common goal, and that's to get that bread. Let's get that bread, guys. Schroeder, are you going to make an appearance? Come here. I think Schroeder's, I think Schroeder's going to make a last appearance here. It wouldn't be a video without Schroeder, right, guys? Because he's kind of been slacking. Come here, Schroeder. No, wait. Maybe he'll jump up through the back. And then again, guys, look out for um, the new sponsor, fearthemaverick.net it's just a sick looking website too check her out so she's going to put her uh, updated merchandise on there she's a friend and i'm trying to help her out she has a fight coming up against sabina mazzo on march 12th so let's get let's get her paid guys she's a friend of the show she's been on the show she's been at my house she personally delivered smoke and joe frazier to my house flew him all the way from missouri drove him all the way over here from colorado so I owe her like so much. So come go check her out. Skywalker 10, get 10% off of your order, guys. She has female, male clothing in there. I got some gloves in there. Um, pretty cool female merchandise, too. Pretty cool stuff. More she's got more on like if you check her out on her Facebook, a lot more is updated over there. Instagram. Um, but yeah, go check it out, guys. Lots of cool merchandise. Again, Skywalker 10 to get 10% off at checkout. God bless you guys. I love you. Thank you so much. I don't want to get off of here, but apparently I have to. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love doing these. So subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell icon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.